Hey guys, how you doing? Runs the Nut here. Today I have some new fans for us to take a look at. Uh, these fans are made by Cougar, They're the Dual X series of fans. And our friends at Performance PCs took delivery of some, and I was able to get a few for a review for you. So as you can see back there, they come in red, green, and blue. They are LED fans, and they also come in 120, 140 millimeter versions. So what we'll do is uh, we'll do an open box, take a look and see what comes inside of them, uh, take a close-up look at them. And then uh, since they're LED, I'll also uh, fire them up, of course, and uh, show them to you uh, in the dark so you can see uh, what kind of light they put off and what kind of effects they provide. And then uh, we'll also do an audio test so you can hear what they sound like. And then I'm going to put them on uh, some radiators and do some real world uh, testing and see how well they perform in a water cooling setup. So uh, let's take a close up look. All right, the first one we're going to take a look at is the 120 millimeter dual X red LED fan. Uh, take a quick look at the box, just identifies that it's got a hydraulic bearing, powerful airflow, extreme silence, and then you can see there the model number uh, CF-D12HB-R. Uh, it shows it's a 1200 RPM fan. Uh, noise uh, on the, uh, per their packaging is 16.6 dB and then the standard dimensions. Some uh, graphics on uh, P performance. And then I'll, I'll talk about all of these things. Uh, they just uh, talk about the special uh, blade design. And then, of course, they provide all the specs up there. And I'm also going to put uh, the specs for the fans um, in a table so you'll get to, you'll see them uh, coming up. And that's the, that's the package. All the packages are the same. I will open up each of the fans to take a close look at them so you can see the color, but I'll take you through the detail on the red right now. All right, so real quick, in the package, you get a uh, three-pin fan to four-pin Molex uh, connector. You get a bag of screws, fan screws, and some uh, what they call tooless fix pins, and basically they're, uh, you know, they're rubber screws, if you will. They're anti-vibration mount uh, screws that you can use, um, which requires no tool. You just push them through and pull the, the nipple on them, and uh, that's how you get them uh, mounted into your case and secure the fan. Now, the fan itself is a dual-layer rigid blade design. There's uh, nine blades, and they have these dual layers, and I believe that's this, uh, this crease in the middle of the blades uh, has the two, is causes the two layers, and then you have, uh, which those are supposed to help generate a more powerful airflow and uh, air pressure and decrease um, wind shear noise. Now, they have what's called their innovative Cougar diversion claws. Those are the, the four ridges that are, go across each of the blades. And uh, it's also to help reduce um, the noise, air turbulence, and also provide a focused airflow. Um, then around the corners you hear, as I said, you have the rubber uh, mounts. These are um, anti-vibration pad design. So when you mount them up against your case or your radiator um, or your shroud, it's nice to have that. More and more fans um, should uh, should continue to incorporate this design. I like that. Cougar's been doing that for a long time. Uh, hydraulic bearings to make it run smoothly with no friction. It makes it quiet and durable. And then the LEDs, um, when you take a look around here on the fan on each side, there's an LED. And uh, this fan, although it appears orange, it is. That is an orange blade, but it has a red LED, and it's provides, supposed to provide some uh, great visual effects um, with the red LED shining through the orange blade. So uh, we'll see that. Uh, and then also you can see that uh, around the frame it's on solid piece, and it's uh, like a gray smoked uh, color. You can actually see through it, so that helps uh, probably with the LED shining through. Um, on the back here, uh, it's a really nice... Um, frame solid mount and then I love that they have black wire through here you don't see any red and yellow or black and yellow you then come out to the cable this cable is 450 millimeters long and it is sleeved and it has heat shrink right up to where it goes into the uh, to the frame and then sleeves at the other end it is a three pin fan for the 120 millimeter fans they're 1200 rpms uh, the airflow is 64.37 CFM. The static pressure is 1.74. The acoustic noise is 16.6 dB. And the cable length is 450 millimeters in length. 
and it is a three pin fan. Here's a look at the blue one in light. One of the things that I didn't notice uh, before, but you can see that the plastic looks like there's like a, a blue ring around the inside there uh, by the motor. And here's a look at the green one. And here's a look at all three of them side by side. For the 140 millimeter version of the fan, uh, here we have the blue one. The packaging design is exactly the same as the 120 millimeter version, highlighting the hydraulic bearing, showcasing the part number, uh, the speed of the fan, the noise, and the fan dimensions. We have on the side its P curve. Other side, just again, basic. And on the back, we have all the special features. Um, that uh, 120 millimeter version had as well. So let's take a look now at the for the 140 millimeter version of the fans. Packaging is exactly the same. The three pin to four pin uh, power adapter cable, the uh, toolless fixed pins, and the fan screws. And the uh, fans, same design. Uh, again, the red LED version of the fan does have orange blades, but red LEDs. The cable length and the sleeving is exactly the same. However, the 140 millimeter fans here are 1,000 RPM. Airflow is 73.18 CFM. The uh, static pressure is 1.4. The uh, noise rating is 18 dB. And um, that's pretty much the difference. All right, now it's time to uh, fire them up. Let's take a look at them running and uh, all lit up. And then we'll take a listen to them and then put them on a test rig and start testing them. All right, here's the blue fan in uh, normal room light. Let's see what it looks like in the dark. And here's the red. And remember, this is uh, with the uh, orange blades. So that's the uh, red LEDs lighting things up. The green, there's the um, blue 140 millimeter fan, then here's the red 140 millimeter fan. Since uh, many fans um, actually have a different uh, noise when they're used in a, a pull configuration, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put the, the audio of these fans running back to back um, from a, uh, a push to a pull. And the microphone is going to be in the exact same spot. All right, now we have the 140 millimeter versions of the Cougar Dual X fans, and uh, let's uh, have a listen to them uh, currently in a pull configuration. All right, now that we're on to testing of the fans. A uh, quick rundown of the test bench setup. Uh, that is a Fobia Waycool T test bench that is with a ASRock Z77 OC formula motherboard, an Intel i7-3770K uh, processor, uh, 16 gigabytes of a Vexor uh, 1600 megahertz RAM, a gigabyte GTX 660 GPU, a OCZ Vertex 120 uh, gigabyte the, SSD. Uh, CPU cooling chip is an Alpha Cool XP3 Lite, and the radiator is an RX3, uh, an RS360. All right, so let's move on to the testing. What I use for testing is OCCT version 4.4.0. Uh, I select the CPU Limpact test, and I run the 64 bits, and I use all logical cores, of course. I run it for 30 minutes, 
and I will then um, after 30 minutes I'll take the max temps that are recorded over on the uh, monitoring side and average that out subtract it from the ambient temp and that'll get us a delta um, but of course T. as we know um, voltage is what generates the heat so the overclocks that I'm going to use for testing here are 4.6 overclock at uh, 1.15 volts which is actually what you see running right now you see uh, CPU-Z has a uh, you know 46 multiplier with 100 bus speed and the voltage is 1.15 and so that one will generate some decent heat and then I'll run this again just as I described um, with a uh, 4.8 overclock uh, but in order to get 4.8 stable on this chip I need 1.24 volts so that generates a pretty good amount of heat so uh, with those two overclock settings uh, that's what you'll see Well, there you have it guys the uh, Cougar dual X LED fans uh, the 120 millimeter and the 140 millimeter versions of these fans uh, from a looks perspective uh, I think they're uh, solid they look great uh, the colors are vibrant and uh, especially the visual effects from the LEDs and the uh, smoke blades I think in my opinion uh, look really sharp I, I really like them they put up uh, put out some nice colors uh, one of the things that I wanted to point out also uh, you notice the black uh, sleeving uh, that looked really good plus the black wire going all the way up to the fan um, I think uh, is a really nice uh, attention to detail quality job and also uh, I measured uh, those uh, uh, leads coming off the fans are 450 millimeters I checked most of the other fans that you find like some of the uh, Corsair they're only uh, 12 inches that's about 300 millimeters so um, they give you a little bit more uh, length uh, they sleeve them nicely uh, they're all black so uh, I think that's uh, a, a good a good value a nice job that they do there uh, from a uh, performance standpoint um, they did good. You see the results uh, from the uh, overclocking, uh, the different overclocks, and how well they performed. And uh, I tell you, I was really surprised by the noise or the lack of it. They were really quiet, both in the um, uh, you know push configuration and pull configuration. Uh, to me, they sounded about the same, uh, which was very quiet. Uh, so uh, performance-wise, I thought they were very good, very good fans. From a value perspective, I think these fans are a very good value. You get um, excellent looks, construction, uh, great performance. They did a great job on, uh, on cooling with those overclocks. Uh, you get the extra length in the sleeved cables and black uh, from the fans. And, uh, but most importantly, in my opinion, they are very quiet. So, you know, you got great looks, you got good performance, and you got... Um, very quiet fans uh, overall uh, a very good value I believe so uh, if you like these fans obviously you can check them out at performance PCs uh, thanks to uh, the guys over there for sponsoring them so that I can bring them to you and do some testing and show you how, how well they do and uh, also while you're at it if you're interested in that uh, real way cool T phobia test bench back there they also carry those as well um, so I hope you liked this video guys. Uh, if you did, uh, please like and favorite. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe. That's it from Ron's and Up. Thanks for watching.